yo 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 what up guys and welcome back to another one today we are not in kansas me and brad are actually in minnesota yeah me and brad you've met him on a ton of videos before excuse me i am dead tired it's 4 30 in the morning me and brad are in minnesota yesterday we drove all day and here we are today today we're going to be doing a little public marsh duck hunt with john from mendak outdoors but shout out to john gave us a bed to sleep a place to stay last night and today he's putting us on a nice little public duck hunt and then after that the rest of the weekend we're going to be smashing i mean totally clobbering them big old honkers here that's what we came here for was to get on that early honker grind you know me i'm missing my goose hunting i'm ready to get after it so today we're gonna get on some ducks it should be an awesome mixed bag thank you train but should be an awesome mixed bag should be some divers some canvas bags hopefully but oh my goodness check it out we got them blades ducks hoodies back in stock if you guys want one of these i'll link it in the description below go down there pick you one up but it is absolutely freezing out. It's only like 32 degrees right now. Uh, it's a complete shocker to me. Me and Brad literally went from 88 degrees two days ago before we started driving yesterday. And we drove in to 37 degrees yesterday. So quite the change. Darn it, train. Do you let it taste? What do you get? Oh, what's up? Sino babies. Ooh. Oh, you know how it goes. Morning caffeine, probably too much caffeine, probably an unhealthy diet of caffeine, but there's only one way to do it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Not you're very just going original. To, oh yeah. You're, you're just going for the original. Yeah, just going for the original. Nothing special, just the original. Yep, we got snow boys. Uh, it is snowing the temperature dropped like I don't know probably five or seven more degrees just on the drive here big old snowflakes so we're gonna be battling uh, snow and, and, and water on the lens so like I say every time when it's raining or sleeting or misting don't mind the water on the lens you send the two that don't know how to work the <laughs> ready I just gotta get this one leg free That's what mine do. My feet keep slipping out of my boots. Oh man. A lot of times you guys have duck on it. Never had this or what? No, dude. We don't have muck like this. <laughs> we don't have it at all. <laughs> How's that? Oh, it was a little cold. Woo. Can't complain though. We got ducks landing in the spread already, and look at this thing. It just looks saucy. Coming right out. God, that's far. That's far. Uh-oh, there's the first shots of the day. We're right there. Oh, coming right at us, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that's far. That's far. Do you want to shoot them that far? Anything within you can hit it, knock it. I mean, I can hit it. I just I don't know if we want to walk far. All right. So kind of the issue is, is like th those birds were obviously shootable, but this mud, like it worries me trying to get these birds. I'm not going to lie. So I'm um, going to try to take as close a shot as possible here and try to get her dead. Man, it's hard to see him coming. I'm just gonna have to leave this GoPro rolling. He did. Thank you. You got him. Did I get him or one of you? No, nope. I don't know. No, I, I shot, but I don't know who got him. I think I might have wounded him first, so I'll count him as mine. All me, all me. Get him. Nice. We better go get that boy. That boy is all sorts of dead. God, that was sweet. Yeah. See if I can make it without falling because this is some silty, silty mother junkin' stuff. Hopefully we don't get in a catastrophic event here. 
This is bad deal central with the silt. I'm not kidding. The silt here, literally two foot deep. It gets worse as you go out. Yep. Way worse. Oh boy. I got silt up to my knees. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die here. This is bad. Come here, buddy. Oh. oh. Holy smokes, dude. Bad deal. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Beautiful widget. Check him out. Beautiful bird. It's been a while since I've been on some widget. We're doing it right. Oh yeah, come on. There she is. Is that a Susie? I think so. Got him. I think that's a uh, old Susie Q. Fudge! What I wasn't. I was not ready at all. What? You guys didn't shoot over there, or what? Cheese and rice, boys. Look at that. Two swans. That is cool. <clears throat> I'm still tired from retrieving that duck. This mud, check it out. Dude, the mud. Hard on old guys. Very hard on old guys. So, the last bird that I just downed, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna hurt retrieving that one. This mud literally is knee deep and it's harsh, very harsh. But two swans, you don't see that every day in Kansas. We are not in Kansas anymore, boys. Like I said, if you miss it somehow, we are in Minnesota. Me and Bradley over here, look at him going stealth with the camera. Get it, son, get it! We drove 10 hours and we went from 90 degree weather to 35 degree weather with snow the next day. So it has been a journey, let me tell you, it's fun. What happened, Ricky? Public hunting, you got you got birds decoying, and, and what happens every time? Boom, 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 and they flare. Public hunting at its best. It's the same as home. I feel right at home, fellas. I feel right at home. Dude. Oh, what happened over there? guess it's time that Bobby has to put down the camera here and do some work for you boys, okay? He didn't like that. So, I need to hit on something really, really quick. You know, this is my first time duck hunting up here and it's a thing up here. They cannot use battery operated spinners, mojos, lucky ducks, anything like that. They can't use it right now. This is their only option is to use the uh, old ancient caveman wind operated uh old dilly Mariggers here whatever you got to use whatever you got to use to get the job done that's what you do you cannot use battery operated spinner mojos lucky ducks decoys you get the point on public at all all season how many of you out there drop a comment down below if you have to abide by those laws because that's that's crazy in kansas we don't have it we don't have to deal with anything like that no way. dude i'm telling you it is plum awful you got it billy Maybe. Here we go. Sky bus city, baby. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if he would have kept coming, you I would have tried. I would, hey, if he would have kept coming, I would have tried it. I, I ain't lying. We're at that point. No matter what happens, if I go down this camera, it's Yeah. But check out that new barrel sticker. Make it rain. Oh, my goodness. You guys haven't checked out all them new barrel stickers. Go on down in that description and check them out. Swing in here. Swing in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Get him if you can. He did. Another one down though. Man, he did it real well. He he actually landed over here and just skimmed over them decoys real nice. Listen to him. That's so cool. Two swans. They just make little squeak noises. Huh? Huh? Smoking bread. He dead now. Where they at? Where they at though? Oh, here they come. Good group of geese. Look at this. Oh, hello. I want to try this one. There he is. There he is, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was a team effort, dude. How many <laughs> I think it was a wing and a wing and then eh, hell yeah first goose down of the season hasn't completely shut off yet it's about 9 30 9 35 maybe just down the goose first goose of the season boys that gets my blood boiling uh, yeah so that I, you you literally when you step out of the reeds boom knee deep automatically so when we were walking in homeboy found a boat stuffed back in the reeds it's got paddles oh they found a canoe <laughs> so i don't know whoever left your canoe out here on this public spot thank you so much because literally earlier I, i'm I, i'm i'm okay i'm 32 years old and and you get the point. Oh, Billy! What the heck? Wow! I don't know about you guys, but one of my dream hunts is to go on a swan hunt. That is, uh, that's literally one of my dream hunts. I can't wait to do it. I will do it one day, but, uh, awesome, man. Swans are so freaking awesome. Tired. Dude, the, mu the mud is it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, the mud out here is insane. Yeah. You doing? So he, sc he scouted the place and found it, but it's a lot of work to get back here. We had to trek in like a quarter mile, so, you know, you, you see water, you see ducks landing. You're like, heck yeah, let's go bust them, but then you get here. And uh, shout out to him for find finding the, th this is a great spot, but. Mud. Mud. One word. Mud. mud. Oh, look what Bradley got. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, dude, you would shoot. You would shoot that. Yeah. What an a hole. I like the ladies. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Yeah, we about tipped this bad boy just now. Whew, it's been a struggle picking up these birds. Luckily, the buddy who left the old canoe here hooked it up. Again, thank you for whoever you are. Here we are. I gotta go over yonder and pick up my honker. Oh yeah, no bands. No bands. No Darn it! Bought me a battery. What happened? What are you doing there? It got full. <laughs> she's she's a beaut, isn't she? She is a beaut. I actually I think I shot this one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I oh, shot. Oh, trying to I steal my mounter, huh? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> the old widgeon. I guess she's a she he. It's a he. It's a drake. It's a, it's a rarity here in Minnesota. Yeah. These boys, how many, you say you've only shot three, right? I've shot three ever around here. So. Yeah, that's crazy. And then a lot of them, a lot of the other guys have never shot one. And then my other buddy from Minnesota, he's like, man, I haven't seen one of them in three years. So, but shout out to who's ever again canoe this is. I know, I know. I didn't hunt out of it, but it came in clutch. Thank goodness we found this thing. So we, uh, we shot a good little mixed bag. Didn't shoot a ton of ducks, but I haven't showed you this guy. I thought it was a uh, hen mallard that I'd shot, and look at that, pintail. Gosh, I, I mean, I don't know, I'm just shooting the rarities up here, I guess. What do you got down there, big shoots? Three teal, mallard, and got another mallard There's over there, and then we got a honker there, so. Couple teal, couple mallards, and then old big old honk daddy McGee, hello. Good shoot with the boys up here, up, up north, man. I'm having a great time. You having fun uh, 
old Bradley? Oh, having a great time. You're you're kind of dadding it. You're huffing and puffing and oh. losing your breath and <laughs> the mud, mud's dude. yeah, the mud's this wearing them out. Killer. Dude, the mud is horrible. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Well, yep, we are uh, all wrapped up with that public duck hunt. As you can tell, I am somewhere a little different here. We're in a little man cave cabin. Brad and I, this is where we're staying. We have been getting after the honkers. I actually vlogged and ended the video that you just watched, but my camera literally, it said 1% when I was filming it, so it didn't save it. So we're doing it now. But we are in the honker man cave, and if you follow me on social media, on Instagram, you will see that I've been getting after the honkers heavy. So I want you guys to be expecting some awesome goose hunting videos coming up very, very soon, like this week. But after this video, you need to go check out the Ducks Blades camo hoodie. They're all back in stock. You guys have been asking for them forever. They're back in stock. Go pick them up. All these Ducks products are linked in the description below. But I want to thank you guys for watching. These Minnesota videos are turning out amazing. We've had amazing hunts. So be expecting some extra saucy footage. I want to thank you each and every one of you for watching, for subscribing. Without you guys, I couldn't be up here in Minnesota, 10 hours away from my house, doing what I love to do. Thank you guys so, so much. But if you haven't subscribed, you need to do it. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Give your boy a big old thumbs up. Again, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.